Okay, I'm here with head coach Jerry Arvin. Uh, you're heading into your 17th year as the head coach of the cross-country teams. Uh, first, give me a preview of your women's team and then uh, talk a few minutes about the men. Sure. Uh, thanks for asking, George. Uh, the uh, women's team, we lost uh, two really strong athletes last year, and, uh, Lise Manley and Katie Kuntz, who were all uh, Lise winners for us for three years, was injured one year, graduated, uh, so we didn't get her back for a, a redshirt fifth year. And then uh, Katie Kuntz was uh, all-conference most, uh, I think two of the three, four years she ran, but was just one of the strong competitor all four years for us. So we lost those two, and really I don't know if we got a replacement for them. So we start out in a little bit of a hole uh, because they were vital parts of our national qualifying team, our sixth-ranked team in the nation last year. Uh, heading up there and uh, just all season got stronger and stronger as the year went on. So uh, we start with uh, Breland uh, Matranga coming back and hopefully over her pneumonia uh, that took her out of most of the season last year so she didn't have strong a season as she could have. And uh, we get uh, another junior in Ashley Zabel coming back and a third junior in Gina Urbachi coming back. At the end of the season last year they were all three hurt and weren't able to perform at the level which they showed earlier. And right now, uh, I think the three of them are in good shape. Uh, great no, good yes. So that gives us a strong one, two, three base there. And then we're going to count on uh, Bailey Massenberg, uh, Laney Bird, uh, two more juniors, uh, Geneva Ozuna, a senior, Angie Affman, a senior, uh, Sarah Federson, who also was hurt last year, coming back and looking strong, who will be a, um, a junior this year. And then uh, Sarah Lane, who is coming over from track and making an appearance in cross country in her fifth year out of track eligibility, but wanted to run cross country, and uh, has done pretty well the first uh, three weeks we've been here. Uh, so those are the girls we're really counting on, and then we have uh, three or four other upperclassmen who are still running with us. And we've got four freshmen who I, I really don't have a handle on, four or five, I guess we have five, that I really don't have a handle on yet. And we'll, we'll start knowing them as we go, but uh, we've got to get them out of the training room first. And so it's a little bit of an unknown. Uh, I wish I could say we're the 12th best team in the nation where we're ranked right now, and I'm not going to know that for a month probably. If the five girls stay healthy, we're going to be very good. Well, you only have, what, four regular season? Yes, we've got... Four meets is all. Yeah. So is that uh, to try to is that designed to try to get everybody healthy for the GSAC and national tournament? Uh, yes. Uh, I just going off uh, what I've thought the last few years is that we've run really well at Willamette. We've come back a week later and run really well at Vanguard. We've had two back-to-back -back weeks that were really good, and then the next weeks the wheels seem to fall off a little and we just never recovered back by the time we were strong at conference and going into nationals. So I decided this year I'm, I'm going to Oregon, the kids went to, and we'll skip the Vanguard meet, take a couple of weeks off and go into Biola, and we'll see if it works. It may not, but uh, I got to try something a little different because uh, after the Vanguard meet and the Willamette meet for each of the last three or four years, we've been a really good team, and we just haven't been able to keep the wheels on going into conference and nationals due to injuries, illnesses, uh, uh, all those things have piled up, so uh, it, it, I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to try it. You told me once when you ran, you ran every week in yeah. college? No. When I was in college, uh, my senior, junior, I had 18 cross-country meets, uh, but we ran dual meets two times a week, and we'd run big invitationals on the weekends, and so basically what's changed is that those, um, the way I see it is those dual meets we ran would be like our hard day of practice now. The only thing was, a meet's a lot more fun than practice, so I enjoyed the meets. But yeah, the the racing has changed in the 50 years or so that now I've been <laughs> close to doing this, where you're racing a whole lot to now where you're picking and choosing your races and hoping to train through everything. Okay, and how about the men? Uh, the men's a big upgrade this year, uh, surprisingly, I think. We've got 14 guys on the team. We jumped up from uh, seven or eight last year where we barely could get eight guys, seven guys to finish. and and had a couple hurt, so we were struggling. And we've added a bunch of new kids. We brought back uh, three or four students uh, who were kids who were students here already who now want to run. And we picked up uh, one uh, 
Alex Buttweiler, who was here a couple years ago, transferred out because of health, and he's back. And then we've, we've got our guys, I think, healthier than we uh, have been in the past. Uh, Will McNeil be right now number one. Uh, looks very good. He was sick and hurt last year. Kyle Russell is coming back strong. Uh, Ryan Ernst, we're getting back. Uh, uh, Brant Jones is back. Jacob Roth was a freshman, did well. He's much better now as a sophomore. As Alex, uh, as I said, Buttweiler's back in there. Uh, then we picked up two or three other uh, freshmen, uh, Tristan Oliver uh, Mal Mallory, who uh, I think is going to do a good job for us, but still the freshmen are known. But we've got five freshman guys and uh, just a good group. So 14 guys we should be able to do uh, much better than we have in probably the last three or four years if they stay healthy. Uh, big if, but the same thing. I think right now it looks good. All right, and your first meet is tomorrow. That's Friday at uh, UCSD. Good luck uh, tomorrow with that, Coach. Thanks, George.